Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, thought I'd do a quick review here on this uh, Vever uh, linear actuator. I use them for uh, uh, some things I make here around the house, and uh, uh, the first set I bought I've actually used for over a year now. I think about 12 months. This is my third purchase, um, third set. Uh, second set I've had for about six months and uh, they've worked flawlessly so uh, you can see here this is what you get um, they just come with a couple pins a couple brackets um, and uh, I mean they seem pretty well made for me uh, these are the switches I use um, you don't need two switches they actually make uh, like a synchronizer but uh, I didn't use it in fact on my first table I built I only used one switch and it's pretty synchronized um, I just for what I'm doing I found it easier just to um, use a switch for each uh, actuator um, so so I can get them exactly where I want them um, I'm making something with them it's just easier uh, I really like these switches um, you can see they're labeled um, they come pre-snipped the wires um, it's super easy to install uh, they seem really well made um, for what I'm using them for. They definitely are. Um, that lights up when you press it. It's got several different mounting brackets for whatever your application is. Um, so yeah, for the money, I think they're like 12 bucks. Um, I think they're very good. And I've never had a problem with those switches either. Um, give you an idea how much uh, weight that's uh, 13 pounds basically for uh, 16 inches and that's uh, 72 inches long the C channel that I'm using underneath this table so the C channel um, that, that it's connected to it's uh, it's basically about 70 pounds 75 pounds and it's just hanging there um, so uh, it pulls that up along with what I put inside them cylinders and um, I'm not sure how much pressure it is but it, it's an immense amount of pressure it takes to push that up once I uh, do what I'm doing with those uh, you can see there uh, how I got wired in um, so just just a note there the brown wire on the motors are positive and the blue is negative on uh, on these motors um, be nice if it was uh, red and black but it's not so you can see there how I got it mounted to the C channel and it's just hanging just hanging by the uh, by the actuators kind of see how I did the wiring there and that's a 30 amp 12 volt 30 amp power supply that's what I've been using um, just a cheapy off of Amazon uh, you can see here that's my original table right there that's over a year old um, that's the one I just used the one switch on at first you can see same deal and uh, it's worked flawlessly I use them uh, every day uh, probably about four cycles a day um, I've never had a problem. So you can see here, I got the uh, two switches, and like I said, it's just easier for me to use two switches because uh, I just to get it perfectly the what I need it to be. Um, like I said, they do make synchronizers if you're. Um, and also they have a uh, auto shut off so you can only go down you know it's not going to burn the motor up or tear it apart it'll shut itself off going down or up you can kind of see the speed there it's not very fast but I'm making a metal table and uh we'll really put them put them to use here in a couple of weeks I'll do a I'll do a video on that and we'll see because this table is it's going to be super heavy instead of being made out of wood it's all going to be steel 
and I'm not sure it'll be strong enough, but it'll be a good test. Um, I got the links down below of what I bought. If you want to check them out on Amazon, I'd appreciate it. Um, thanks a lot for watching. I hope this uh, hope this helps you guys figure out if this will work for your project. Um, have a great day.